All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Mike the Cook. This time, we're gonna be cooking tuna spaghetti. Let's check it out. Uh, welcome, uh, I am Mike the Cook's uh, father. I am about ready to make something that probably a lot of you probably never had. And believe me, it's better than you think it is. It is called tuna spaghetti. My mother made it. Uh, I don't know how she got that recipe back in the day. And um, being that it's Good Friday, uh, this is a different example of making something out of pasta. And uh, here we go. Uh, now, what I have, <clears throat> three cans of tuna. I've already put in two cans of tuna in here. Uh, it requires a half an onion, uh, half a bell pepper, half a celery. My condiments are gonna be uh, accent. It will, believe me, it, it really uh, lightens up the food. Garlic powder. And also, I forgot to mention, uh, I did uh, put some minced garlic cloves in uh, a couple scoops, a couple tablespoons of garlic cloves. But I do add some powder, sprinkle to, you know, uh, a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, I have Italian seasoning, of course, that you use for any kind of uh, Italian dishes in most cases. And some other oregano. And now I don't do any kind of measuring. I do, I basically what I do, I sprinkle a little here, a little there, and we are ready to rock and roll. I do have my two cans of sauce. Yeah, I like, to, I prefer that. Canadina salt. It's already, it is extra thick and zesty, which has the flavors into the sauce. And also, I have a can of Italian herbs, another can of Catalina sauce, two cans, and 15 ounces. So I'm putting 30 ounces of the tomato sauce, Catalina, and two cans of Catalina paste. Now, you can use any kind of paste or any kind of sauce, hunts or whatever variety. I prefer to use cannellina. It seems like it does a lot better for taste. I have everything in there. The burner's not on. I've already added two cans of tuna. And what I do with my seasoning, I use a, uh, a chopper. Instead of hand cut uh, the chopper, uh, the chopper and I fine grain my seasoning my onion and all that because of the juice. I like to have it, the juice soak into the tuna and it gives it added flavor. And of course, everybody loves flavor. I am ready to add the rest of my condiment, which will be in the end a very delicious pot of tuna spaghetti. But anyway, I wanna keep it on low heat. Not draining anything, nothing to be in drain. The cans that I have here, tuna, I do have a few cans of red with tuna and avocado of tuna. I add a couple cans of that, and believe me, they're giving a mixture. And I add oil. And I get a couple of heads of water base. As you know, tuna comes in two different liquid varieties. Oil and water get that in there and i got a can of the chunk white and one thing about tuna it, it has a lot of protein a lot of protein um, and it's very very inexpensive Five cans all together of tuna. Um, I go to break the tuna, and then I add all white tuna, I'm ready. Yeah, a couple cans of oil base, and it doesn't really matter. You could go three oil and two water base. With my paste, and like I said, I'm not, I, haven't, I did not drain the tuna. I... Right. As 
you know, this is two cans of salt, so it's just 30 ounces. And two cans of the paste. It's a requirement no matter what. I can add the accent on any kind of food. My friend, with a salad, regular salad, it does enhance the flavor. Some garlic powder. I prefer garlic powder than the garlic salt, to be quite frank with you, my girl. Now, of course, Italian seasoning. Now, my last hill is oregano leaves. I like to add some oregano. Be generous. As you know, I'm not uh, using any kind of measurement. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Can't go wrong. Uh, basically, it's going to be six shakes. Five or six shakes, um, generous shakes. And when I'm done, I'm gonna stir. One thing I wanna add that you could do, I mean, of course, some pepper. Or some Goya or badass seasoning. Good stuff. Six, seven shakes. I like to use the grill, the coarse pepper, the grill one, because it's fresher, fresher the pepper, and pepper enhances a lot of dishes. Take it around a little bit, dump it in. It actually gets the residue from the sauce. Now, stir it up. I'm gonna crank it up to two, two and a half. Let it set. I'm gonna get it to a slow boil, a 10 to 15 minutes to stir. Stir it and it'll be done within two hour time. Welcome back everybody. We are gonna check on this fabulous pot of tuna spaghetti. It's been on for approximately a half hour now. I am going to stir and as you can see how the brew it's remember remember now I put two cans 30 ounces of water in it in here. We have another hour and a half and it's gonna be a done product and we are gonna do some taste test to see how it comes out and I hope you all enjoy this video. And this is the finished product. As you can see, it's two hours here. I let it simmer. Basically, I did let it simmer. And the end result is, you can see, it's not too thick. I want to reconfirm what I put in here. The, um, three stalks of celery. A half of bell pepper. A half of onion, garlic. I use the mint out of the jar. I use two tablespoons with a little extra lanya. Uh, seasoning, the Italian seasoning accent. Put four sprinkles. I go. I don't do the tablespoon or measurements. Um, four tablespoons of the garlic powder or shakes, I should say. Or you can go five shakes. Uh, oregano. Five shakes of oregano. Now I had five cans of tuna, tuna is universal. Put, uh, it doesn't matter if you get the oil, you can mix it, oil, water, some uh, water base. Um, two cans of the uh, Bacardi uh, tuna, the white tuna. Um, also remember, stir it, they would eat 10 to 15 minutes. In the 20, you keep it at a low simmer. And two hours is the actual time and it should be done. Uh, of course, it's a spaghetti. Uh, then there you make the noodles, uh, 15 minutes, depending on what you get. And now, the end result will be the test that. And now I have the one and only Mike the Cook to taste this particular dish to see how he likes it. So, further ado,
smells good. It looks good. Let's try this bad boy out. The flavor just explores in your mouth. It's really, really good. Ooh, man, just the flavors just hit you. Man, tuna lovers, mmm, I mean the tuna, you can taste all tuna and all the seasoning. It's really good. I give it a thumbs up. I give it a five star. Hope that you enjoyed this video. And look, give it a try. Even if you really remotely don't like really tuna, you can try this dish. And uh, I think that uh, you'll be surprised. Anyway, uh, considering the time we're in, y'all, you know, good luck and um, hope for the best. Adios.